so many options of wax available, it can be tricky to figure out what type of wax is the right one for your business. So Holly, Caron Lab has both natural and synthetic waxes. Can you take us through the differences? Yes, so firstly we need to understand that wax is made out of resin. So resin equates to 75% of the finished product. So today we have a natural based resin, right. which is plant derived, and we have a synthetic resin which is oil based. So your natural resin, this one here, you would find in a product like your olive oil strip wax. Yep. And then we also have the Brilliance Hard Wax, which is your synthetic resin. So this one can go a lot whiter. That's right. So they're easier to colour and fragrance, these right. type of resins here. And they're actually better for sensitive skin as well. They're also easier for the therapist to work with because they stay more pliable as well. Okay, that's really interesting. So Holly, you're going to demonstrate some waxing with Caron Lab's Brilliant Wax, and that's the synthetic wax? Yes, that's right. That's right. the one that stays nice and pliable on the skin. Right? Perfect. And what should we look out for when buying a wax? We need to look out for if it has a stringy consistency, if it's hot on the skin, if it has a bad chemical smell, mm -hmm. and also if it's causing excessive redness. Right. So what that means is that they're probably using an inferior wax, mm -hmm. which contains cheap Chinese gum rosin and that can cause an adverse skin reaction and unfortunately sometimes we don't actually know that that reaction has occurred until the client leaves the salon. So therefore they may not be re a returning customer. That's why you should always buy from a trusted brand. So you can see how pliable this type of wax still is. And you, you've used synthetic wax under the arm, which other parts of the body would it be good for? Well your synthetic wax like your brilliance is great also for resilience underarm as we've just done, and face, so any sensitive or intimate area. And if you had a natural wax, what is natural wax really great for? So your natural waxes are still a must in the treatment room because they're really good for large areas and short coarse southern hairs. So for example with the legs, that's typically people might shave their legs, so it would be better to get out those stubborn type of hairs. So it goes without saying that a good quality wax really does bring the best results. That's right, if you use the best quality wax on your clients, you will ensure that they don't suffer with redness, irritation or bumps, meaning you have a happy, satisfied client who will return. Thanks so much, Holly. For more professional tips like this one, keep watching PBTV, the only destination for professional beauty advice.